so I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. You'll do fine. So let's just focus on getting you through your first week. Uh, let's see, there's an introductory greeting for the company I'm supposed to read. Yeah, it's kind of a legal thing, you know. Welcome to Freddy Frazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun comes with life. Frazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering the damage, death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days, or as soon as property and premise have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached, and the carpets have been replaced, blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there are nothing, really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I would probably be a little bit irritable at night too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children, and we need to show them a little respect, right? Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, it's like some kind of free roaming mode. Something about their servos locking up, and they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be able to walk around during the day, too, but there was, there was this bite of 87. Yeah, it's amazing the human body can live without the frontal lobe. Well, considering your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is that these characters, if they have to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Frazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside of Freddy Frazbear's suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wires, animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those would cause a bit of discomfort and death. Uh, the only ones I can see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth that pop out in front of the mask. Yeah, they don't tell you these things when you first sign up. But hey, your first week should be a breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check the cameras, and remember to close the door only when it's absolutely necessary. You have to conserve power. Alright, good night.